Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. All right, friends, this is Mr. Woods Teaches, and today we're working on how to find a whole from a percent. What do you mean by that? Well, we have 9 is 25% of what? And that's where that W or whole is right here. And if you recall, 25% is equal to 25 hundredths. I can put that here. Right, just for right now, just right there, 25 hundredths, which is also equal to 25 over 100. So we have 25 hundredths, and 25 goes into itself once and into 100 four times. So now we can see that that is one fourth. So we have 25 one hundredths is one part of four when 4 of 4 is the whole. I set up this equation so 1 fourth is equal to 9 over that whole because 9 is 1 fourth or so this would be like 9 times 4 is equal to it because that's what we do here we say z we're going to cross multiply 1 times z is equal to z is equal to and then 4 times 9 36 and that's it that's all we need to do we can prove it because we can say 36 divided by 9 and 9 times 4 is equal to 36. Let's see if we can do the same thing here with 12 is 60 percent of what is the whole. How do you think that problem is going to be set up? Is it going to be similar to this over here? Well we have 60 hundredths because we just have that decimal point we just put it right here or 6 tenths but wait we can still simplify that fraction at six tenths down to what? What do you think that's going to be? Well, let's take a look. So we have the six tenths or sixty hundredths and I said six tenths because look at that I can just take that out there's six over ten. I can simplify it further because two goes in here three times and it goes into ten five times so there's that three fifths and that's how I can help set up this next problem. But wait, it's not as easy as this one here where I just had z is equal to 36. Because I'm going to cross multiply, so I'm going to multiply this here first. And I'm going to put down k times 3, so 3k is equal to 5 times 12. That's going to be 60 because 5 times 2 is 10. Put that 10 there, 5 times 10 is 50, plus 10 more is 60. Now we just divide each side by 3. And 60 divided by 3. If you want to put this out here, so I have 60 divided by 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. And 0. And 0 times, so it's going to give us 20. So therefore, k is equal to 20. And that's how you find what the whole is from a percent. And remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Have a great day. Thank you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.